how it's mixed again and the BT Diablo ladder is officially over that happened uh, yesterday in the afternoon uh, US time so it is yesterday was the 23rd of January in the early afternoon Eastern Standard Time the ladder finish finished and these are the official results the wolf is first at level 97 and half and Nadine wins is close after him so I was watching uh, some of or the, the, the final 20-30 minutes uh, with the BT Neanderthal uh, live through his uh, Twitch it was fun to watch both these guys were pushing hard and now we can see also at, at the prizes not this one sorry over here so these are th these are the final challenges the final versions so th these are old bender beat the game first then the first torch theo was the first one to get to 40 uh, level to get a skill to 40 levels on his necromancer he did the four, whole 450 magic find he maxed the gold out uh, i was uh, curious about his strategy and today uh, Kex suggested in, in the discord that this was selling uh, uh, essences for uh, from the bosses from Andariel and Duriel Gymnasium did the 200% FCR chaos run Theo was the first one to find TC87 armor and weapon Kex found the first Annie, the wolf was the one with the first Zod. So these are the standings, the official ladder, the end of ladder standings. The max DPS was Theo with his poison javelin. You can see it on screen, it's 55k to 59k. <coughs> Highest level was Kex with his uh, assassin this is the, the middle screenshot the highest weapon was a little put tv with the bulketos blade with four with 524 uh, enhanced damage and this looks to be four jewels and a om a rune inside that the last thing was the best craft this was the the most fun to watch uh, i watched it for some time this is this is the item that uh, won which was a bit surprising i, I stopped watching at some point but uh, the thought process of btu was uh, that the, the item uh, has no sockets so participating in this challenge about the best craft was also fun um, and I'll uh, briefly switch to my character to show you uh, my uh, so this is what I <coughs> participated in the best craft with my ogre mole which has a lot of damage uh, just to show up to, to show off myself i ended up on 13th position with my bar barbarian level 88 and three quarters and basically i am the first barbarian on this ladder which makes me proud and i'm happy and of, of course that's because i played only one character where most of the other uh, players had a couple fifus has a barbarian and a sorceress over here so he's 11th and 18th so some of the other uh, players also have this we also have a couple of characters Theo has a lot of characters 
he has a necromancer, a paladin, a sorceress, an amazon and what not. So th these are the standings. And uh, on the max damage, something I realized earlier today, that basically Teo won the max damage challenge, the highest sh DPS challenge, pretty easily. I tried competing with my ogre mole, where this is this is the amount of damage I have with the mole, with uh, the might aura from the merc, 24 to 33, and this is quite. Oh yeah, this is not optimized at all. Like the um, the mole needs a lot of enhanced damage, a lot more enhanced damage. My gear is on the soul self found end. Actually, I can put this ring and this ring for just a bit more damage. But anyhow, I won't go into details too much just to show this is just leap attack and synergy with 20 percent with 20 points in mace mastery for them all and on the max dps earlier today i came up with uh, the idea that the assassin could uh, easily beat could have easily beaten teo's uh, poison damage black, black javelin damage. This is a screenshot from my ladder assassin on vanilla d with uh, three charges and dragon tail 20, 20 some points with dragon tail and 20 some points with the skillers with, this, with the extra skills. So 20 points dragon tail, 20 points tiger strike three charges and this is even without a might mercenary. So I think it was possible to beat him, to beat Theo, but that will be for next time. Uh, the event was uh, pretty good. This is, th this is my overall play time. This is something like 45 hours and a half. So this is basi basically 45 hours and then the rest is and then 21 more. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, so it's more like 50 hours of playtime. Uh, on the ladder, I think I saw Nadine's uh, timer. It was like 120 hours for the 10 days. He played for 120 hours during the event. That was quite an achievement. I guess the wolf played at least the same amount of time, if not more. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. The event was a blast. I'm really happy that I participated in. It was inspiring. It was the first time I started uh, streaming. I started recording um, more often and I'm really happy with the outcome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next one uh, to see you in the next BT Diablo ladder. Bye for now.